So you have two ends of the spectrum there. You've got the startups who want to become enterprises, and, and on the other side you have enterprises that, that actually want to uh, have some more uh, startup uh, uh, environment ethos inside of it. So yeah, there's, there's different challenges on both ends of the spectrum. We like to, uh, the context we like to look at that in is, is really what we have in the book as the innovation spectrum. So on one side you have uh, sustaining innovation, which is really where the enterprises live, and on the other end you have disruptive innovation, which is startups typically that uh, are living over on the, on the disruptive side. The goal of the startup is actually uh, to become more sustaining because that's where the market is, that's where the growth is, and that's actually how you become a big company. Conversely, over on the enterprise, they have a, a bunch of their own challenges. Right, so one of the things we, we really like to point out is that uh, it's not enough just for an enterprise to say, hey, you know, startup culture, dude, we're, you know, let's get the Nerf guns, you know, let's get the, the mint water on tap, let's, uh, let's uh, you know, have the super cool uh, office. It's much more than that, right? Because if you're a big company, uh, you have big profits, big revenues, uh, big business lines. Your brand actually matters, right? Where startups can do really aggressive experimentation, and if a startup dies tomorrow, no one's noticed, right? Maybe the startup founder's mother, right? But generally speaking, they don't have that many customers. And that's fine. They can be much more aggressive. But if you're a big brand, you actually have to protect your brand, right? You also have HR issues. There's differences with people who uh, who enjoy more process-oriented uh, type of work and versus people who actually seek chaos, right? So how do you know which talent to put where? Uh, legal issues, right? If you're in a, especially if you're in a heavily regulated field, you can't simply just sort of run and gun, wild west, start experimentation, ask for credit cards on the fly, and not comply with the whatever legal uh, ramifications there are. So doing lean type activities a little bit different, um, but still highly recommended. And and one of the things we talk about in the book is how do you set up ground rules that allows people allow people to actually do creative experimentation within the confines of a large organization and not actually destroy the brand value or the, the existing processes, and in fact protecting the mothership from the, the internal startup. Mm -hmm.